Many people often find comfort in staying within familiar territories, interacting with those who share their cultural background or the way of thinking. Yet Jesus, our perfect example, regularly crossed cultural and societal barriers to minister to the lost, the rejected, and the overlooked. He didn't limit his love to a certain group, but display it universally. In the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 2, we see a reassurance that Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was not limited to a chosen few, but extended to everyone. This inclusive love should motivate us to step out of our comfort zone and extend an arm of love to those outside our immediate cycle. Ellen White emphasized this thought that our love should not be restricted to our immediate families or even within our immediate environment. This isn't a call to love our family any less, but rather a call to broaden our horizon and extend our love to others, reflecting the love of Christ. Sharing love, comfort, and blessing with others is not just an optional good deed, it's a mandate. As believers, we are called to be a conduit of God's love, not a container. The blessings, love, and grace we receive are meant to flow through us to others. What is essential to nature and care for our own family, our duty does not end there. The world is vast, filled with individuals from various backgrounds, cultural, and way of life. Each one needs a touch from God, and you might be the instrument through which God chooses to touch them. I'm encouraging you to be a blessing to somebody this week. And that is our study this week. Thank you for taking the journey with me. I really did enjoy studying with you. Pastor Bob is back next week with lesson number nine. And happy Sabbath when it comes. God bless you. And we are going to see you next week. Thank you.